There are several different ways to access your apps on the iPhone. You could do folders, pages, you could swipe up the pre-selected apps from the bottom of the screen, or you could use Launcher for iOS. Now this app is a widget which was actually rejected by Apple, but Apple eased up their rules and brought the app back. We're going to walk you through the steps of making your own launcher. First of all, download the app. It's free. Once the app downloads, open it up and you'll see a dashboard created for you. Now there's a pro version that's $3.99. I'm using that version right now and you see that it adds more rows and does more things. We're going to jump in here and show you exactly what you can do in launcher. Now of course you can move icons around and get it situated how you want. You could also delete them. All this is pretty simple. Now there are many more things than just adding app icons to your dashboard. You're going to click on add new here. You'll see we have the ability to add website launchers, maps, directions, FaceTime. There are a ton of different options and subcategories inside your app that make launcher a must have app. You can message someone specifically by creating their own icon. Just put their name in there. Now we're going to load up our contacts here just by tapping on the address book and then I'm going to go through and pick the person I want here and you can see we have her picture set up. You could also change the customizing of the icon to a custom image, combo icon or the contact picture that they have and you're pretty much all set. Now we're going to show you guys how you can do more stuff with the apps. You can see we have a whole entire selection here of the apps. Some of these have little arrows on the right side which are subcategories. But you could basically add any app on your phone, any section on your phone as well. So right here I have Star Wars 2. You can see it's one of my favorite games. I want quick access to it so I want it right there. I don't ever have to dig around for the app. And you'll see here I'll just swipe down it's gonna update in a second there you go and you'll see I have the Star Wars 2 app right there and um, now you could just basically run around on your phone and you'll always have access to these apps really quick and easy having a customized text button is really cool you can jump right into the conversation with the person and not have to dig through all your text messages you can create your own website shortcut icons, and that's just the beginning. If you buy the pro version, you get access to more settings that will be able to customize your launcher. Now right here I'm going to hide the labels, which is a pro version. You'll see the labels just disappear and give you a little more room and it just looks cleaner. You could also change the size of your icons, which will also affect how it looks when you pull down the notification bar widget. They also have a music launcher app that works pretty much the same way. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can customize your icon with an image. I'm just going to click on custom icon and we're going to go through here. Let's just pick this panorama sunset shot. And we also have options on the icon if we wanted a circle or a square. There are just so many different options built into this app. It's pretty crazy. And there you go. We have our link right to sakuraphoto.com. Digging into the subcategories, you could open up your clock and go directly to the alarm. Or if you email someone a lot, you could set up a pre-addressed email so you could get that email sent out in a few taps. The phone works the same way, but there's also a call with confirmation button which will actually confirm if you want to call that person if you accidentally tap. Now one of my most used features is the settings here. Now you can dive into any of the preferences pages, all these sections that are built into settings that you sometimes get lost in. A lot of times I use usage, so I want to have a shortcut that goes directly to usage. You'll see right here, I'll just tap right on it and it goes right into the usage settings. I don't have to dig through the general settings, accessibility to find just what I need. Now another really cool thing is in the Google Maps you can get directions, search maps, set up exact addresses so you don't have to always punch in the same address which makes things a lot easier. Setting up the widget is really easy. Once you're done customizing your launcher and the launcher app, all you have to do is swipe down from the top of your phone, click edit and you'll see the launcher app available to add to your main dashboard. Now you might see some other apps that you could add to your dashboard that you might not have known you could use. You could also rearrange your widgets to your liking. The launcher app is pretty awesome even in the free version. It's definitely going to be so much easier to access things without digging through folders or searching spotlight. Everything is right here with one swipe down. And the best thing about it, you don't need to jailbreak your phone. You could download the free version on the app store or buy the pro version via in-app purchase for $3.99.
What is your most used app? Leave your comment down below and don't forget to click subscribe and watch more videos right here on Gizmo.